Hey everyone, that's Gold here. I'm introducing a new series which will be based on setting up your World of Warcraft interface with add-ons and altering present interface items in order to give you a better in-game experience. The reason why I've chosen to go down this path is that I've noticed myself spending a lot of time on trying to perfect an interface setup with the most needed add-ons. So I feel as now I am pleased with mine. I shall share how I got to this point in time through detailed steps. I did not want to create one big daunting video on how I got to this stage, so I realised it would be a nicer process to do it in a series of videos. I hope you enjoyed these events and I hope it helps you get a feel of a new and greater in-game experience. Okay, so first of all I use the program Curse Client as it shows up here. So pretty much how Curse Client works is it's just a source of add-ons and at the top left we have our games. And not all your games on your computer will show just the ones which Curse can get add-ons for. So we want to stick with the World of Warcraft at the moment. So we got play up here, my add-ons, get more add-ons. So we want to get more add-ons like so. So pretty much yours will take a bit of time to load up, it always does. And pretty much how it works is it'll then put all the add-ons into categories. So it'll start off most popular. You can always change it to date, likes, author, category or name. They will keep it at popularity because you know if they're most popular they've got to be the best so as you see I've downloaded a lot of the popular ones and just ones which I've kind of researched as well so if you want to also search an add-on like so or just type anything if you want and then pretty much or if you want to go just say we want a druid add-on you click that and it'll filter all of those for druid add-ons so we'll just go any category for now and that's pretty much just a quick simple overview of that area so if we go play a score, we'll just install that. It'll go straight to our downloads. And then we'll go back to our game, go my add-ons, and then it will download. Once it's pretty much downloaded, we'll just hit it up with a quick refresh. And then once we load up our game, everything will be sweet. Another cool thing about Curse Client is at the top right here, we have got our WoW resources. And pretty much they're just MMO Champion, WoW WB, and wow PDR. they're just some cool online resources which they help you out with stuff give you tips uh, just some cool little tricks all of that stuff so kinda things to benefit our gaming once again so that's just a pretty much a quick brief overview of how curse works it doesn't take long to get used to and once you do get used to it it's a great thing okay so now that we've gone through the program curse client itself what well, the the main idea we're going to try to do is here is go through all of my add-ons and from there we'll pick out which ones are more of a necessity than others i'll give a brief description of them from there you can kind of pick out which ones you want which ones you don't want and when we go to in game later you'll have more of that freedom of choosing which ones kind of benefit you in the future so we'll get started with this and then we'll see how things go from there okay so at the top of the list we've got npc scan now this add-on it's not so much more of a necessity but what it does is it'll scan the area for a non-player rare boss and if there's one what it'll do is something will pop on your screen saying there is a boss in this area and you can go hunt it down kill it take its loot all that jazz and something could have Okay, so next up we have Atlas Loot. Now, pretty much what this add-on does is it saves a lot of time in-game. By saying that, it's just a matter of clicking a button to pop up the add-on, and if you're wondering what heroic gear, PvP gear, raid gear, dungeon gear, all that is, it splits into categories for different tiers, uh, and you can pretty much just see what armor you can get for what tokens, and you don't have to go around in Stormwind or these different cities to find people where to get this gear. It's just a matter of opening the, up this add-on and it's all there. It's a major necessity and it's really handy. Up next is Auctioneer. Now this program takes a little bit of time to kind of tinker with and get the hang of it. But once you do it through watching some tutorials, videos, all of that jazz, pretty much it just benefits you in the long run. For, by saying benefiting you in the long run, I mean that what it does is if you do professions as such and you want to buy stuff in bulk or sell stuff in bulk, this does it all for you. Uh, another thing is if you're in a random area, no auction houses in these areas, and you're just like, okay, I need to see how much I can sell an item for in my bag. If you have recently been to an auction house, we'll show you how much it goes for at that time and all that business. It's something really handy. Once you master, you can use it to your full potential. 
After that, we have Bag None. Now, Bag None is a simple but effective add-on. The reason why I say simple but effective for this is because when you usually click B or open up your bags, they pop up left, right, and center. What this does is it just cleans it up a bit by putting everything just into one big bag, and it's easy to arrange your stuff, saves a lot of time, all of that, just something nice and handy to have. Up next, we've got Bartender. Now, Bartender is an add-on which I probably could not play the game without. It's probably the most common add-on you'll see in people's interfaces. The the reason why I say this is because it just, you can rearrange the whole interface's spells and rearrangements and all of that by just changing things up, putting spells all together, which most people do, and it's easy to kind of figure out a rotation and use that rotation. It benefits your gaming in the long run, and it gives you that more professional kind of feel to playing the game. It's something really good to have, and it's something really cool to use, and once you master it like Auctioneer, it'll be a great benefit. After Bartender, we've got these big red brain spell flashes and bitten spell flashes, all of that. Pretty much how it works is the spell flashes, as it says, it just spell flashes buttons on your interface. So it's kind of good to have just to see, give an idea of what your kind of rotation should be through telling you what spells to use. Now, the thing behind these, if you want to use them, make sure you get Bitten Spell Flash Library. And later on, we'll go through these and you need Spell Flash as well, the program itself, which helps, which makes these add-ons work. So just download them and you can always turn them off later. There's something cool to have and you can kind of learn a couple of things here and there. And then once it starts, you find it being a bit annoying and you've got the proness of that, the professional feel to your rotation, you can take it all off. So it's something kind of can benefit you in the long run. Followed by our spell flashes, we have deadly boss mods. Now, deadly boss mods is something which will enhance your gaming, therefore it's a major necessity. Pretty much, if you die in a raid or dungeon heroic, anything like that, it's and you don't have deadly boss mods, that is probably why. What this add-on does is it just give, guides you through bosses and all that, tells you when they're about to do those nasty spells which one-shot KO you. It pretty much shows you all different ways to move, it shows you what directions to go in and it gives some cool details of what's going to happen and how long until that spell happens that the boss is going to use. All of that jazz, it's just all these awesome warnings and it really does help your gaming performance so therefore must get. Here we've got Decursive. Now, it doesn't matter if you're a healer, tank, DPS, anything like that, I reckon everyone should have it. What it does is just, if anyone's got a curse on them, something like that, it'll pop up on your screen, it'll show who's got it, it's just a matter of clicking one button and then they're decursed. For anyone, I reckon you should download it and it helps your gaming a lot, it helps out the parties a lot, it's a major benefit. Here we've got Gatherer. Now, Gatherer is pretty much, if you do professions, get it. If you don't, probably don't worry about it too much. Uh, if just say, for example, if you're in a guild uh, and people have gone get and got their herbalism up as such or mining, pretty much it'll show you what path they've gone in, where you can find those items. It just kind of helps you get your professions up one set at a time. And it's something a little cool to have and it pops up stuff on your map and just makes things a little bit easier during those processes. Here we've got Healbot Continued. Now this add-on is something which from the start I've loved it, one of my favourite add-ons. Uh, because the reason why I say this is because I mainly heal and pretty much from the first time I got it I haven't gone to any other heal but I've tried others but I found this is the most effective and the most easy to use. It's just a matter of signing a, buttons, a couple of buttons from your mouse onto the interface buttons and then pretty much you just click on people who need to be healed, it gets them healed, does the job done and it's really simple to use easy layouts, you can change and manipulate them as much as you like, and it kind of just benefits your gaming in the long run. Healbot is something which I really do love, and I advise you get one if you are one for healing. Okay, here we've got move anything. Now, it's probably not needed as much, but it just, you can move pretty much, as it says, anything on your interface, and minimaps, all of that jazz. If you want to move something which you kind of think will be but placed, if it's placed in another area, it will look better or benefit your gaming, then this is an add-on for you. Okay, here we've got a, pretty much a tank add-on, Omen Threat Meter. Now, what it does is pretty much it just shows who's got the most threat on that person, and if you're tanking, it's just an easier way to see if, how you're tanking by showing how much threat you've got, and it kind of just, yeah, it makes you 
kind of notice who you need to get more threat on, who you need to have more rage on, all of that jazz. Something kind of handy to have, not much tanking out on, so this is just one which is the most commonly used. Okay, Omni CC. Now, this is a major necessity, I reckon. The reason why I say this is because it, it doesn't matter if you're tanking, damaging, healing, pretty much if you do any heals over time, damages over time, anything like that with the countdown, it'll pop up uh, your countdowns on the screen, and they're not too big and they don't go in the way too much and pretty much what it does is it just gives you an idea of when you need to refresh your damages over times and heals over times and all of that business and it kind of benefits your gaming in the long run by having more control of how you play. Okay, Postal is kind of like Bag None, just another way to kind of help yourself in the long run. By saying that, if you've gone th to the auction house a couple of times, and especially in professions once again, and you've bought stuff in bulk and you have to go back to the mailbox and pick it out individually, what this does is you can just click a couple of buttons, one or two maybe, and it just puts all your stuff in your bag, gets rid of all the letters which you have to delete, in delete individually. All that jazz just saves a lot of time, something which is really good to have. Okay, here we've got Pratt 3.0. Now pretty much Pratt is just a chat enhancement module as it says in the description here. Now what it pretty much does is it just changes the way you see your chat. Pretty much if you're in a guild it shows what level the people are, what class they are through showing, matching the colors of that class, so paladin, pink, all that jazz. You can copy and paste stuff from the chat, things like that, kind of just something cool to have on the side. Okay, Quartz. Now what Quartz does is it's just another module casting bar and pretty much what it does is it replaces the old one. So if you do a spell, it kind of comes up in that little bar below. This one, it just makes it a bit bigger and a bit nicer to see. And by that, it you've got a bit more control once again by seeing when to cast your next spells, how long it's going to take, all that jazz. It benefits your gaming in the long run. You've got more control over your gaming and got that more professional kind of feel. Okay, so here we've got Recount, probably the most popular add-on in my opinion, and it benefits your gaming as well. The reason why I say this is because it goes through just a nice little add-on by showing who's got the most healing or who's done the most healing, who's done the most damage, most DPS, most runic power, all of that. It's got a whole bunch of different categories and by saying bragging rights, what it pretty much does is you can tell if you've done the most damage, you can kind of post it in the party, show, hey, I've done all the most damage, you may get uh, talked a bit to, all of that business, but it kind of gives you an indicator if you can cool down and play a more relaxed game or if you need to pick up your game and try to get to, get to the top, which is what we all want to achieve. So in the long run, it's something cool to have and it's something to enhance our performance. Next up, we have an add-on which pretty much speaks for itself. Sexy map, it gives you a cool small mini map on your screen. It just kind of replaces the old one with a new cool looking flashy type of thing. Something cool to have, something which, yeah, we all want a cool add-on. So yeah, probably worth picking it up. Okay, so here we've got our spell flashes again, and as I went over before, make sure you get the add-on spell flash itself, and then download the ones such as Druid, Mage, Paladin, whatever ones you, whatever classes you have, just, yeah, pick those up for indi individually on the side. Right, so creeping up to the end, we have Titan Panel. Now, pretty much this add-on, what it does is it just cleans up your interface, Give some cool stats about your character. All of that, just all of the easy access of a drop bar, which disappears in the once you've once you're done looking at what you need to look at. All of that. We'll go into more detail later, but it's something great to have. Okay, so last cup of the rank, we've got Expel Uniframes. Now, pretty much what this add-on does is it just changes up your uniframes. Yeah, you can change a lot of settings within this add-on. Uh, pretty much, if you're in a party, you can just see things a little bit better, it gives you that more kind of gaming feel towards World of Warcraft, all this stuff and you've got a lot more flexibility on how you change up your interface. So something cool to get and we'll go through that in detail later. So that's it guys and girls, we have gone through all these add-ons and if you have noticed I deleted player score, I've used it before, I didn't find it too handy, so pretty much you can keep it, get rid of it, whatever you like. But getting back on track, we've got all of our add-ons, now I'm going to go explain a couple more things in-game and then we'll start this journey of setting up our interface. Okay, so before we go into the game or into a character and start setting up our add-ons, what we need to do is we need to go to our add-ons in general. So load up your game or log in, bottom left straight away will say add-ons and your box may be unticks for load our day add-ons, top right 
just tick it and then they'll all load up. If they're unticked, they'll, some will be red and when you go in-game, some add-ons won't be there. So make sure that's loaded up, then they'll all work right. Just if they're out of date, it means the add-on or the creator of the add-on has not uh, pretty much made a version for this patch in-game. So we'll get that done and we'll be good to go. Okay, so at first your interface will not look like this. The reason why is because you've just got all these new add-ons and you need to change the settings. And that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you set up all of those add-ons through a series of videos in this series itself. So pretty much, it will seem a bit daunting at first, I won't lie about that, but once we get the hang of it, you'll be able to use all your add-ons to your full ability, and it'll be a lot more smooth sailing from there on. Okay, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Pretty much, if you've got any questions on the side, just feel free to yell out, or if you need me to upload a video on how to do something, I'll try to do that as soon as possible, as, as well as trying to reply to you as soon as possible. Uh, pretty much just keep watching this series if you want and in the end we'll once again try to get a product looking like this and interface looking like this to be precise and once again thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed